You ran the Danny. Yeah. Danny. Oh my God, the best ever. Hello, it's uh, the reason I'm in the business. We talked about you. that. I know. I can meet this guy. Andrea. From my name. And Lovey's from Dolphin. Okay, so let's just go back for a second. So you grew up obsessed with musical theater, as did I. Um, <laughs> really? Obsessed, as did I. No. And <laughs> I, I, I wanted to be a veterinarian, <laughs> as did Really? Yes. So when did the belting begin? Um, seriously, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I'm an animal aholic. I really, I love them more than And um, when I was 12, turning 13, my parents saw the Today Show. And this is such a boring story. No, Andrew McArdle was on the Today Show, and then it was like the local girl from Philly, so we had to go support our own. And I went up to New York with my folks, and it's the cliche of the bug. The curtain went up, and I didn't want to be a vet anymore. It was amazing. Yeah. You wanted to be Annie. I did. <laughs> I, never got to I did. No, I was, I was never a little boy soprano. I always was like a little belter. Really? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> That's all. No, so was I. Okay, so hold on a second. So you said no more animals. So did you know that you could actually sing them? I mean, like you know. yeah, I was our I was our church organist, and I had to play four masses every Sunday, and I would play for possibly the worst singers you have. Catholics are horrible singers. <laughs> they are no, they're Catholics are possibly the worst tone deaf. And we had this little man, that, <laughs> had a little man that sounded like. Joe Feeney on the Lawrence Welk show. It's <laughs> Shirley Feeney, but not the Joe Feeney. He's like, yeah, yeah, he yeah, on earth and he be me. Yeah, and you sounded like, more like Cartman. Or, or, yeah, sort of. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> and you were 11 playing the organ? I was, I'm trying to remember what the nerd, the, yeah, the, the, not the nerds, the nuns nailed me and got me like, they were like, they wanted me to be in choir, and I said I didn't want to sing with the choir. I always wanted to be a solo. Right. So I, 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 I was our church organist, and I played for everybody, but um, I never sang. I actually accompanied my mom, who was an opera singer when she, before she had babies. And, um, we would do gigs. I would play the organ and she would sing and we'd do wedding. We made a lot of money together. So my was <laughs> in a very sick way. Yeah. Um, okay, so then when did you actually start the belting? After Annie got the album sing along? I, it was, it was, here's a chorus line moment. We were driving home from seeing the show in the car and my mother kept saying, oh my God, that kid, she's amazing. She can sing. So I've never heard a kid that could do that. And finally, it got so like annoying. I said, well, I can do that. And they said, wait, you never opened your mouth. I said, doesn't mean I can't sing. And they made me like, so when I got home, I had to sit down. I could always play by ear. You probably do that too, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, Apparently um, you're better than I am. Go on. Uh, uh, no, and you know, in Annie, they, they play all the tunes like over and over. That was, you, know, you hear it maybe about five times tomorrow, about six times. So I got home and sat down at the piano and played like all those songs by ear and remembered a lot of the words. And I was like belting my lungs out. And they were like, when, where? What? Yeah. And I said, you just never ask. So my piano teacher got me a voice teacher.